Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshika Mishra. Let's look at today's top medical news. Study links prenatal chemical exposure to increased childhood metabolic syndrome risk. A study published in the journal JAMA Network Open found that exposure to widespread chemical exposure, such as endocrine disrupting chemicals in pregnancy, may be associated with adverse metabolic health in children. Metabolic syndrome represents a cluster of multiple factors associated with increased risk for cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes, including abdominal obesity, hypertension, and insulin resistance affecting 1 in 4 adults worldwide. Exposure to endocrine-disrupting chemicals during fetal development, a critical period of increased susceptibility and programming, may increase the risk of metabolic syndrome later in life. Endocrine-disrupting chemicals are a class of environmental pollutants with the ability to cross the blood placenta barrier and interfere with human metabolism and hormonal balance. These include pesticides, metal, plasticizers such as phthalates and phenols and other widely used chemicals. While previous research has examined association of prenatal EDC exposure with separate component of metabolic syndrome in children, comprehensive studies on overall cardiometabolic risk remains limited. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. The study used data from the Human Early Life Exposome cohort, focusing on mother-child pair with prenatal exposure to endocrine-disrupting chemicals and complete data on childhood metabolic syndrome risk factor. Data were analyzed from October 2022 to, to July 2023. Researchers measured endocrine-disrupting chemicals in urine and blood samples during pregnancy. When the children were 6 to 11 years old, a metabolic syndrome risk score was created using waist circumference, blood pressure, triglyceride, HD cholesterol and insulin levels. The results showed that maternal exposure to endocrine disrupting chemicals during pregnancy, particularly metals and pesticides, was linked to higher metabolic syndrome risk in children. The findings highlighted the importance of evaluating health risk associated with EDC mixtures. By identifying child molecular phenotype associated with EDC mixtures and underlying metabolic syndrome, this study may support future early identification of EDC exposed pediatric population at risk for metabolic syndrome development. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.